Hello, everyone out there. This is Julie Snyder with Keller Williams Realty Gulf Beaches. Hope you guys are having a great Sunday, enjoying this beautiful weather if you're here in Florida. Um, if not, we'd love to have you in Florida. And I'll tell you about a property today that could be the right one for you. So um, real estate is still selling, guys. That's one of the good things that I wanted to share with you. In Pinellas County over the last week, to give you an idea of some numbers, we've had 386 new properties come on the market. We've had 332 properties go pending in Pinellas County over the last week, and then we've had 389 sell over the last week. So things are still moving. People need homes. So people are always going to need to buy and sell real estate. We're just having to adapt the way that we're doing business um, right now to make sure we accommodate everybody's needs and um, public safety. So we'll talk a little bit more about that, but what I wanted to do today was something a little bit different than what we normally do. So normally on a Sunday, I would be out doing an open house at one of our new listings, um, but since that is not um, good for everyone's health right now. Instead, we're gonna do something a little bit differently and we're gonna do a virtual open house. So I'm excited to share with you a new listing that we have. I'm gonna switch over to my computer screen so you can see. Oops, that's something I was trying to figure out later. I'm gonna move me down. Okay, um, so we have a new listing in Bahia del Mar which is a section of a larger resort island called Isla del Sol. And I wanna just talk about Isla del Sol and the location of this um, first before I drop, jump into the condo itself. So right here is the um, resort island of Isla del Sol. You'll see you have a great location as far as proximity to the beach, right over the Bayway Bridge right here. You're gonna run straight into the very famous pink historic hotel, Don Cesar Hotel, which sits right on the Gulf of Mexico, which is right here. Um, if you go to the north, you have St. Pete Beach. If you head to the south, you have Paso Grill Beach, which has a um, beautiful downtown area with gift shops and restaurants and bars and um, public parking where you can park your car and go enjoy the beach for the day. So there's lots to be offered just right here in um, Paso Grill and St. Pete Beach area, which you're very close to. Um, if you go over the Tia Verde Bridge, then you're into a cool little boating community called Tia Verde. And if you keep heading south, you're going to eventually hit Fort DeSoto Park, which is down here. It's one of the most southern tips of Pinellas County, um, looking over the Gulf of Mexico and then into the Tampa Bay over here. Um, it's a public park where you can bike, you can camp, you can rent a beach pavilion and enjoy the, um, the beach for the day. So there's lots to be offered um, just right down the road here from Isla in um, Tia Verde as well. The other thing that's great about this location is your proximity to the interstate. So you'll see right here, um, this highway takes you straight to the interstate 275 is the interstate that runs through Pinellas County. And you'll notice the other beaches, the more northern beaches of Pinellas County, you don't have that proximity to the interstate. Here's the interstate, here's the beaches. So as you can see, this could be easily 30, 35 minute, 40 minute ride um, from your interstate exit to get to the beach. Whereas here, it's literally five minutes from getting off the interstate, which makes it super convenient, especially if you're going to be traveling to the airport over in Tampa. It's a straight shot if you want to be able to enjoy what St. Pete has to offer. Downtown St. Pete um, is a straight shot on the interstate. And then, of course, if you head south, you're going towards um, the Bradenton, Sarasota area, which is very conveniently located um, as well. So Isla del Sol, let's talk a little bit more about this community. As I said, it is a resort style community. I'm gonna go to their website, which is Isla del Sol YCC, which stands for yachtandcountryclub.com. So Isla del Sol YCC.com. So this website tells you more about the added memberships that you can have when you live or own a condo in this community. There is a marina, as you can see there. Um, there is an 18 course, 18 hole championship golf course. Uh, there's a country club with dining options as well. So lots of different things that you can enjoy in this community. There's the golf course, tennis as well, and fitness. Um, so it really is just its own little island in and of itself that you never have to leave if you want to enjoy these things. So um, those are all additional memberships that you can add on if you choose to, if you so choose, and you can read more about that at the website isladelsolycc.com. Um, I did mention it's a popular choice for snowbirds. This community is. Um, the rental restrictions here are 30-day minimums, which if you, you probably know snowbirds, they usually come down for a few months, so it's the perfect um, rental for them. So as you as an owner, you can have different options, whether you're looking to buy this to live in full-time 
or maybe you want to enjoy it as a vacation home or perhaps you want to use it as an investment or both. So if you rent it out during the high season to snowbirds, that could cover your costs, your carrying costs for taxes, um, condo fees, um, that sort of thing, so that your carrying costs are minimal, if not zero, covered by the income that you bring in during the high season, and then you enjoy it in the other months when the snowbirds aren't here. So that's an option as well. Um, okay, so let's jump straight into this particular condo. I can get to it here. Let me get this. I want to be where do I want to be? Hold on. Bear with me for a second. Um, and then I'll go to the pictures. Okay, here we are. Okay, so this is a one bedroom, one and a half bath condo in the Bahia del Mar section of Isla del Sol. It does have the panoramic water views. Um, as you can see, you're in this higher rise building. You're on the third floor. Um, you do have a pool right out front overlooking the water. There's also a hot tub. Um, right here, you have a little private beach and then you have a fishing pier that you can enjoy as well. Um, this building is attached to a parking garage and in the parking garage, you have a storage section for kayaks and bikes and fishing poles, that sort of thing. And then of course, your parking spot is there as well. Um, Okay, so here we are in the condo. So as you can see, these owners have really done a great job of updating this condo. This condo was built in 1981 and they've completely renovated everything. Um, the kitchen, you have uh, soft closed cabinets, you have granite countertops, you have the beautiful tile backsplash, uh, stainless steel appliances, which all stay with the unit. As soon as you walk in the front door, your kitchen's to your left, and then your open floor plan with your dining area, your living area, and then of course, those panoramic water views um, out of this picture window in the living room. To the right here, this is a slider that goes to your private balcony, and then to the right here, you can see there's, a be there's the bedroom, which we'll go and take a closer look at that. Um, there's another view of your dining area looking into your kitchen. You have a little bar here where you can seat two people. Um, your living room with your sliders going out to the balcony. And then here's your bedroom. So you have wa panoramic water views from your bedroom as well. Um, new luxury vinyl floors throughout this unit, which is great. Um, and you do have the sliders that open up to the private balcony and panoramic water views. Um, looking the other way in the bathroom, you go straight into your in-suite um, bathroom off of the master. Uh, here's a closer look at that bathroom. As you can see, it's updated um, vanity, updated flooring, updated lighting. To your right right here is a huge walk-in closet and you can't see it, but back here to your left, there's a linen closet as well. So plenty of storage. There's your walk-in closet. Um, now we're going back to the front of the unit where you come in the front door to the left your kitchen and to the right you have um, this closet with your stackable washer and dryer. That's another great feature of this unit um, is that it does have in-house, in-unit washer and dryer. Not all of the units do. Um, and then also off here to the right is your half bathroom. There it is, also updated. Um, so it gives a great place for your guests um, so that they don't have to walk through your bedroom to use the restroom. Uh, views of the balcony that you have here. Um, so as I said, one bedroom, one and a half bath, it does have a pull-out sofa, and all of the furnishings are included with this unit, which is amazing. So it, all you need to bring is your toothbrush and your groceries, essentially. Um, so the pull-out sofa does allow for, you could sleep four people here comfortably, um, which is a great, great option for somebody looking for whether it's a home or a vacation home. Okay, so this is a good aerial shot. So you can see right here is the condo that we're talking about. Um, this is the Bayway Bridge going over to St. Pete Beach. And then right there, that's the Don Cesar Hotel, the big famous pink hotel. To your north, this is St. Pete Beach. And to your south, this is Paso Grill. So that shot gives you a good idea of um, what you're looking at. This is the fishing pier right in front of your unit. Um, that's the bridge that they're building going over to Tia Verde. Uh, this is looking north. 
from the unit. Uh, so you're listed, we're listed at 245,000. Um, just to talk a little bit more about what next steps could be, um, and I'm gonna play this video while I'm talking so you can enjoy that. So what next steps could be, we can certainly set up a virtual showing for you. We can do that via FaceTime or Zoom, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, we are still doing in-person showing, so as long as you feel healthy and um, you feel up to it, we'll be glad to meet you and show you this condo. Um, it is vacant so there's nobody living there so there's minimal um, people germs it's just been professionally cleaned and then of course we take precautions of wiping down everything before and after showings um, from there everything in the real estate transaction really can be done virtually you can wire your escrow deposit to the title company virtually um, we can of course have consultations as much as we need to virtually um, we're also willing to meet you in person, just making sure we abide by CDD, CDC guidelines of um, not having more than three people and staying six feet apart. Um, so everything can be done virtually. Inspections, the inspector can go out. He provides this, my dog's tail. Boop, boop, boop. Um, <laughs> he provides a detailed inspection report and you can schedule a time to talk to him on the phone to go over that. Um, and even closings now, they're doing virtually. You can do everything from the comfort of your own home or some title companies are doing what they call drive-by closings where literally you don't even have to get out of your car. You just drive up and they have everything there for you to sign. So um, whatever your needs are, we can accommodate them and we're here to help and serve you. If you need anything, if you're local and you need groceries or something dropped off at your house, we'll be glad to do that as well. We're here for you guys. Um, in any way, real estate related or not. So you can reach us at 727-310-4925. Am I giving you the right number? Let me check, I just had a brain. No, scratch that, 727-310-5942. Again, that's 727-310-5942. Julie and Joe Snyder with Keller Williams Realty Gulf Beaches. Um, you guys enjoy your day and let us know how we can help you. That was kind of cool.